All right, so the day has finally come where I am finally getting this damn mask. Um, actually, Loki, I'm like really excited now. At first, I was gonna tell a guy like I don't even need it now, but I was like, man, I've I've ran this guy around the block and back, you know, trying to figure out a time to meet, you know. So I don't want to be that guy. Um, but now, like, I'm low key, like, really excited because I'm gonna scare the hell out of Shelby with this thing. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the coveralls yet or the shoes even. Uh, but I think after this, I'm gonna stop at the Halloween store right down here and grab the knife, like, the prop knife or whatever. It's like eight bucks, you know, but. Um, you know, just go have the complete costume. Um, might stop at Walmart and grab the, like, work boots or whatever. But, honestly, also might not because that's 30 bucks that I don't need to spend. Like, if I had a, a an occasion where I planned on wearing this soon, then, yeah, I would go buy them. But I don't really feel like I do, so I'm not really too worried about it, but... I'm meeting this guy in the spot. It's a lot of where a lot of people meet here in Monroe, but it's just funny because it just seems sketchy. So it's our old um, abandoned Kmart building. It closed now quite a few years ago, and it's actually still like this whole little area is actually still in very good shape. They must be keeping up on it. Um, the Kmart's still like lit up. I guess there's security. Uh, there's one guy on YouTube who actually like tried to get in there and every all the doors. See, usually these big buildings like this, there's a door or some kind of entrance way that's like compromised and you're able to get in there. But uh, I guess this whole place is still locked down really good. Because fun fact, I was actually going to start a YouTube channel um, of like, you know, exploring abandoned places because that's a huge, I can't say like hobby because I've never done it really um but like a dream slash goal of mine like one of my all-time favorite videos to watch on YouTube are um well I guess I should say one of my favorite channels it's called the proper people um but they just basically get in you know abandoned buildings like this and just get all kinds of great footage and they're really good at it too like there's a lot of people that do it just for fun and they're terrible you know they're recording with a cell phone and like a small little flashlight and they just jerk the camera around and they look through real quick. Um, these guys, it's called the proper people. These guys like go in there like with really nice camera gear. You know, they actually pan around nice and slow. You get to see everything. You know, they talk about it. They try to find history on the place. So it's really cool. Um, I just started thinking, I'm like with my job, you know, unfortunately like a lot of people who, you know, explore abandoned places vandalize it or try to steal from it, you know, cut the copper pipe out and stuff like that. I have zero desire at all for to do that. I just literally genuinely am fascinated by abandoned buildings. I don't know what it is. It's like, you know, this place used to be full of people and full of life and stuff. And now it's just dark and, you know, just decrepit and falling apart and stuff. And I would go in there and leave it, literally not touch anything. Just walk through, take pictures and videos, and then be on my way. You know, so unfortunately, a lot of people, like, get caught. And then, you know, you might get thrown in jail overnight or, you know, get a ticket and have to go to court and stuff like that. And one, that's not stuff I want to deal with. I am not into the prison system and, like, even getting a ticket, like a speeding ticket and going to court for it. Like, I am not about that. I, uh -uh, I've never been arrested or anything. And I don't plan on it. But with my job, you know, if I get arrested, I don't have call off days, I lose my job. You know what I'm saying? So it's just too risky for a hobby, unfortunately. But yeah, like I was saying though, like I've seen a guy on YouTube, like actually in Monroe at this specific building trying to get into it and he walked all around it and everything was locked up so he couldn't get in. But yeah, uh, just sitting here waiting on this guy and gonna record it just to be safe. <laughs> just to, I don't know why, like just lately, <laughs> the few times that I meet people up, you know, on these Facebook marketplace and stuff like that, like, I just feel like it's so sketchy. Like, you never know, you know what I'm saying? Like, one big thing, like, I will not meet unless it is inside of a public place, like, you know, in a gas station or, you know, Walmart or wherever, somewhere public where there are people literally within a few feet of us. 
I will not meet. I actually personally prefer not to even do business in general, but like if it's like a, I've had this for sale and nobody has been interested and then somebody is, that's about the time that I'll give in. But if you have a fake Facebook name, like I'm not doing business with you, you know, like if, if your Facebook name is like getting money, you know, getting money fat stacks or something like that like don't even message me okay this guy's here sweet man this is a tiny mask holy crap cool yeah like it looks brand new he's got it in the bag and everything oh that's trippy Sweet. I want to put it on and try it on so bad. Got it. See, that's what sucks, man. This feels like a small mask, and I have a big ass head. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's legit. It's the trick or treat company. Cool. See, I got a big ass head. That's why like masks make me nervous. Even when I was a kid, like these damn masks fit so bad. Um. Simple, simple, simple. I like that. See, anyways, though, like I was saying, like, all these people who have, like, fake Facebook names and stuff like that, like, don't even message me, you know, trying to buy something I'm selling. Like, I'm not trying to do, do you know, do any kind of business with somebody who's got, you know, JT getting stacks. Like, see ya. Next. Um, yeah, and then, like, I've actually like never had anything sketchy. I've been buying, selling, and trading stuff since like early Craigslist days. Like I was literally, Ooh, we got another ambulance coming. Why are you guys stopping so damn early? This dude's not even like down here yet. Anyways, so yeah, like I said, I've been doing like buying, selling, Craig, buying, selling, and trading things over the internet since like I was probably like a freshman in high school. Maybe no, I don't think I was doing it in middle school, but definitely mom would have, my mom would have probably kicked my ass if she knew what I was doing back then. But nothing bad, just you know, like as a parent you don't want to hear that your kids you know buying and selling things over the internet and having people come to their damn house you know when you're at work look at this abandoned mall man this place this town is just dying man then you got you know the one spirit halloween taking over Oh yeah, like I was saying though, I don't want to try the mask on yet because I want to take it home and you know, like disinfect it and stuff. totally scraped against that pole jeez but man talk about just making it dead obvious that you think i'm gonna steal something my god so i walk in the store and i was gonna record a little bit but this guy made it just awkward and creepy um walk in and then you go like to the right and Kind of like to the right and to the back there's uh like all the props like the knives and you know the swords and stuff like that 
And I already knew where it was because I had grabbed it the other day when I went for the mask. But I was like, no, I'll just get the mask because I had a 20% off coupon. And I was like, I don't want to use that on an $8 knife because it'll use, you know, like the take the 20% off, you know, the lowest price item already. So I was like, oh, you know, I'll, I'll come back. I'm always in the area anyway, so it's not like I'm going out of my way. Um, so, dang, another ambulance going down this road. That's two in a row? Well, I mean, not two in a row, but... Two down the same spot, like this same road where it just was before I went in there. Um, anyways, though... So I went right in, you know, grabbed, you know, went right to the knives and there was like, the first two of them were like, I don't know, like it looked like the fake blood was like chipping off and they're, I don't know, it looked like they've been dropped and like kicked around. So I pulled a few off the shelf and then, you know, put them back on there until I grabbed, you know, like a nice one that was in good condition or whatever. Um, and then, you know, I was just looking around because, you know, we go in there, it's pretty fun to just look around and see all the cool stuff they got. And uh, this younger guy, probably in his like, late teens early 20s or whatever he's like can i help you find anything I'm like no i'm good man just looking around thank you though okay let me know if you have any questions or need help i was like all right man i appreciate it and then he you know kind of walks away he says the same thing to some other people and then i was trying i was looking down at my phone for a few like for probably maybe a minute trying to find that 20 percent off coupon again online and like it wasn't like I was hiding or, you know, hiding behind a shelf or something. Like, I was standing right there out in the open by the masks and just, you know, waiting for the page to load. And, you know, as I'm doing that, I'm looking at the masks, you know, kind of walking around, looking at stuff. And then, like, in my peripherals, I just noticed a person, like, probably four foot or so to my left just kind of standing there. Like, not staring at me, but, like, just standing there, not doing anything. And I look over, and it's the same guy, and he's just like... You know pretends like he's looking the other way i'm like really so i walk like 10 feet over you know still waiting for that thing to load on my phone but genuinely looking at the masks and stuff wow it's not even that dark outside why is it this dark on my camera i guess that'll help um you know so like i'm genuinely still looking at the masks and stuff because there's i mean a wall that's got like probably 60 different masks on it if not more and, uh, like, he starts to move down there, too. I'm like, Jesus Christ, dude. Like, I've got a, a this knife is, like, two foot tall. Like, the, the packaging for it is, like, probably over two foot tall. And the knife itself is, like, a foot and a half, if not bigger. Like, I'm not stealing. Like. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm almost home, though. Bailey has been, Bailey, tell him, she, uh, I'm trying to think of the words, like, she can smell, like, I don't know, she's got, like, a really sensitive nose, like, she will be sniffing stuff, and we're like, what the hell are you doing, and then we end up finding a mouse or something like that, like, the one time she was, like, weirdly sniffing under the oven, like, like, she really saw something or something like that, and then I put a mouse trap out, caught a mouse. And then the one time she was doing it in the back room, put a mouse trap out, caught a mouse. You know, very, very far apart. But but for like the past literally two-ish weeks, she has been sniffing the house. Insane. Like I'm talking, even upstairs. Like she'll be like, she would lay in bed with us a couple times. Sometimes we let her up there. And she'd be laying down and then just be like. <laughs> and then just get up and just like want to get right downstairs and smell the vent that's down here by my computer and this vent um is like right near where our crawl space entrance is because there's just like a crawl space under the house or whatever and there's actually two crawl spaces because the back utility room if you guys heard me say before that was at one point like never there that was an addition so 
the, you know, there's like the, the brick wall or, you know, cinder blocks or whatever. And then there's like a whole nother crawl space for that. That one's got its own like metal latching door. This one, it's like somebody, I don't know, broke the door off or something like that. But it was literally just like a piece of plywood cut to fit. And that's been there since, you know, before we lived here. Because it was old when we moved in. And, you know, since then it's like deteriorated. And like some of the corners have chipped off and stuff like that. So it wasn't like a full seal. But because it's so low, I didn't realize how open it was. I mean, there was like this much room towards the top. And then in the corner, I mean, there was enough room for me to go like this and put my hand through it. And I couldn't see it because of the angle. So Bailey would like, I mean, if I was sitting on my computer, like she would almost like, you know, be over there in the, in the area, just sniffing and just, you know, all around the, like she would go by the oven. She would go back there. She would go in the bathroom. She would go all around this area. You know, I'm just like, Okay, that's not a mouse. You know, when it was a mouse, she was sniffing in one spot and there was, you know, like little mouse droppings and stuff. So it was really obvious. This was all over. I'm like, do we have like a serious, like it literally started to make me nervous. I'm like, do we have like a serious mouse infestation like in the walls or something? And I'm starting to get like, started to get really anxious about it. I'm like, oh my gosh, you better, I hope she stops doing this soon. You know, maybe it's just an animal outside in heat or something like that. But she would kept, like, the one hot spot was this register right here, you know, by my computer. And I'm sitting there on the computer the other day, and, like, she would just, like, you know, when a dog hears something, and they're, like, you know, they focus, they, like, hyper-focus on it, and they're, like, stiff as a board. She kept doing that, and I'm like, Bailey, there's nothing there. Quit it. I opened the vent. I vacuumed, you know, like, the little metal tray thing out where the, the, the furnace thing connects to it and stuff. I'm like, Bailey, there is nothing there, man. Come on. She would even start whimpering at times. Like I said, I was sitting there the other day, and I heard this, like, I'll put the clip in right here. You just hear this, like, slight, like... That's, like, the best noise I can think to describe it. Like, a just kind of like a ruffling noise. So the ducts that go to our vents, it's, like, insulated, like, flexible tubing. Um, and it's pretty big, so it, it hangs down pretty low. And like I said, that crawl space entrance is right there. And you just hear this, like, kind of, like, ruffling. And I'm like, and she looks at me and then looks at it. And she's all stiff. And I'm like, there's really something in there. And this was at nighttime. So I'm like, of course it's at night. So I grab my big mag light. We go outside. She comes out there. And she's, like, you know, on the hunt. Like, she's going to, you know, be big and bad and do something. She's a baby. She's not going to do anything. If she saw another animal, she would run. So I open it up and I'm like standing far away because I can't do cross faces. Like I cannot go under there. I super claustrophobic. And it just, uh, it just the thought of it just makes makes me cringe. You know, I do a lot of work around the house, but that's one thing I can't do. Like I will literally pay a buddy to go under there or something. But um, so I got my mag light. And actually when I heard that noise too, like I slammed my hand on the vent just to hopefully like scare what it was because clearly it's an animal. Um, so I like, you know, kind of the wood is just kind of like wedged in there. So I like peel it back and, you know, I was waiting for something to jump out at me or something, but put the flashlight all through there, could not see anything. Um, and I'm like, maybe when I slammed on it or whatever, like that scared it and it went back out. You know, I couldn't tell, like, I couldn't tell if it was coming in. It might've been going out when I heard that noise. Um, so the next day I'm like, you know what, when I leave work, because I won't go under there. I'm like, how can I like, I'm like, what can I do to see under there without going under there? And I'm like, GoPro, RC car, flashlight. Cause the GoPro will like wirelessly stream the video to my phone. And there's, granted there's a delay, but you know, I'm not under there trying to like race around. I'm just driving around. So Bought this RC car right here at Walmart for like 22 bucks. It's a four by four. So I knew like, you know, I'd be able to get over like little pipes and stuff. Um, took this little Harbor Freight flashlight. Super bright. This was right here. And the GoPro's up top like this. I had it on the hood, but it was so much weight on the front like... That this axle would just like collapse and it just, I don't know, it kind of just made it drive really funky. 
So I go under there, I turn the GoPro on, I pair it to my phone, I start recording, and I've got the light on, and I'll put some clips in right here, but right, here um, go. I drove around because I like truck on. a couple reasons. Biggest reason I didn't want something to die under our house. Cause when I when I when I was going under here, my next goal was to build a new wooden door for that spot. And I've got all that scrap wood from the deck that's like really nice thick lumber that, you know, it's not going to deteriorate from being outside and get wet and soggy and just crumble. So I knew I was going to build a nice rigid sturdy door and put like a little handle on it so, you know, it actually looks nice. So like it doesn't look trashy like it did before. And it's strong. Nothing's going to get in, but nothing's going to get out either if there's something in there. So I wanted the RC car because there's like a lot of duct work and uh there's like a lot of insulation that's fallen i actually really do need to get under there and put that back up but you know like there's there's stuff all over so if there was something under there it's not easy for me to just look in there and just you know see everything like i can't see every nook and cranny and you know behind everything so the rc car was to drive down there where i don't have to be down there and I can see everything, you know, top to bottom. Cause I'm, I'm 99% sure it was a cat. We don't really have like raccoons. I mean, we do, but they're not like a issue around here. You know what I'm saying? Like they're not getting into your trash cans and stuff. Um, so I just, I really doubt that's what it was. Cause there's a lot of cats. I've been outside in the morning numerous times and seen a cat, you know, just book it out from under the porch, you know, just straight up leap over the fence. Like it's not even there. So, really strongly believe it was a cat. Bailey acting like that kind of makes me think it's a cat too, because like she was like, you know, just going crazy about it. But like I said though, like I wanted to make sure there was nothing under there at the time of me sealing it, as well as you know, no baby animals that you know would be helpless down there. But um, if you guys like RC cars though, this thing was sweet. Twenty two bucks at Walmart. It's rechargeable. It's got a USB port, like a USB plug. So you don't even need batteries. Um, it's four by four, like it's, you know, the the axles flex like crazy. I was surprised, you know, for a little $20 RC car, like this thing was climbing over big PVC pipe and chunks of broken stuff. Like there's like a lot of like spare pipe down there from when they were working on the plumbing and stuff. They just left like all the scraps. But um, yeah, this thing was pretty sweet though. The only thing I don't like about it is it's just full speed forward or full speed reverse. But my phone is screaming at me that it's out of space. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up, guys. I will see you next time.